57 made by Wampler Pedals. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, the Tweed 57 is designed to reproduce the sound of a mid 50s to late 50s Fender valve amplifier. It features true bypass switching, it's in a good solid metal housing, you've got a volume and a gain control, you've also got three different choices for the input simulator and a free band EQ, and it runs off a 9 volt battery or a power supply. So we push the EQ on the treble right up, take all the middle out, take all the bass out and get some really cool thin tones, it's great for slide. <laughs> We take the treble out and the middle out, push the bass right up, put the drive right up, it's on the normal setting, get some really good swampy tones. Okay, I'm going to show you the range of the, uh, the gain on this pedal. I set the input to the normal input selector and each time I'm going to take the gain control up a quarter. So here it is, we're right the way down, the volume's about halfway. Okay, so on this pedal you've got a switch for the input simulator. So I've got the gain set to about halfway and the volume halfway. I'll just go for each one. So this is normal. And I'm using a humbucker by the way. This is the bright setting. of trying to find your tone basically. <laughs> One of the things 
is brilliant about the Tweed 57 is how it responds to changes in volume on the guitar or changes in the dynamics of your picking. If I just show you the volume first of all, so I've got the gain three quarters of the way up and the volume halfway, and I'm on the normal setting. And if I just do a tiny bit of volume, the signal totally cleans up. responds brilliantly to the dynamics in your picking as well. I mean, look at this. I just play gently. And then heavier. I really like the Tweed 57 pedal. It's got a brilliant growling gain. There's a lot of options of different tones with this input selector. The dynamic response of it is really good. The way it cleans up the volume. It's got a good EQ on it as well. But it's just really good to be able to get the sort of the tones you get from driving a valve amp really loud, which you can't do all the time, especially in practicing situations, out of this little box without having to have that much volume and the drive really does sound really good when it's growling away. So yeah, pretty impressed with this one. Mm -hmm.